When I met Libby, it was in August of 1984. I had been at the Rainbow Gathering in California and camped out at Mount Shasta. And I went to Ashland, Oregon, where I stayed for a while. Libby and I were doing a little street art sale and she had her weaving and I had my beadwork and crystals. And uh, Libby came up and we met. She had heard about this French Canadian hippie making beadwork and we connected very in a very powerful way that that time. Uh, I had set up, I was gonna meet another person and it turned out she knew her. So we all went to uh, the um, Siskiyou Pass with Libby's car, little car, and we hung out there and uh, it was magical. The first song Libby sang to me in her little booth was Greenery. And I knew then by listening to her voice and her song and her, and her, her soul, that this person was going to be important in my life. And she sure did become very important in my life. Libby played a significant role in a lot of people's lives. She was a powerful person. I felt very much in love with Libby at that time, and we spent like a month. So I rented a spot in a trailer campground that she showed me, and we hung out there for about a month. And uh, uh, she had to go back. She she had been in the final uh, times of her relationship with Patrick, with whom she had two sons, Eugene and Shen, and uh, we started hanging out, and uh, then she had to go back to Cape Junction and take Elma where she lived. So after spending that little time, she went back and um, after telling me about her life and her separation and her two sons and where she was at, she had to go back and it was hard. So I stayed alone for about a day and thought only about her and my connection with her. And I left my bus at that campground and I walked. Uh, I mean, I took a, uh, I got a ride to Grants Pass, and then I walked from Grants Pass to Cape Junction to her, where she had told me she was living at her grandmother's. When I got at her grandmother's, she didn't want her grandmother to see me, this hippie, that she was having a relationship with. So she made me sleep in the yard in the back, in the uh, greenery. Uh, around her grandmother's house. And the next day, I hung out with her children, Shen and Yushin, and we played by the this, the Illinois River, just down below from her grandmother's. We walked down there, and uh, I hung out with them, and we made huge peace signs with the white colored stones on the, uh, in the rocks near the river. And we made this huge peace signs, and a few airplanes came by, and I said to Yushin and, and, and Shen, Shen was still in diapers, so you could probably not understand, but Yushin was really excited. I said, look, they're going to see the peace signs, and they're going to know we're for peace and all this love thing, you know, and they were into it, and I was into it. Well, I love children, and uh, I love them. And um, that was it. Uh, then, well, she couldn't have a relationship with me at that time. Uh, she could have one, but not a lover relationship on a constant basis. So we hung out a few times, went to some art shows together. But I went and I lived at, in Tequilma. I rented this chicken coop from a guy called Jerry. 
which ended up killing himself. He was a mess anyway. And I hired some of my friends, and we did beadwork all the way till uh, Christmas. And that was it. That was uh, me well going and centering my life around Libby. And uh, that lasted till I left to Kilma. It was wonderful and weird and all that. But then that was that, the end of that episode. Then I would see Libby uh, further along after a few years of being on the road and and uh, having my own relationship with this woman and it falling apart. I went back to Ashland, Oregon and connected with Libby again and we stayed again together. But this time we, 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 we developed our friendship, our intelligence, our, and uh, then the future was to come. Anyways, so that's the how I met Libby Goins. Then I'll talk about other things after this one episode. That's me, me and Libby at the beginning.